Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. A quick video this time, uh, introducing three kind of the ideas that we're going to be looking at in this section of our topic. What we call heat, in inverted commas, looking at this idea of thermal energy, and then temperature. And we're going to see what the, do these words mean, and how are they related. Okay, but so the first thing that I want to kind of bring to your attention is this idea that um, matter, you know, all the, 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 the substances that are kind of around us, um, is made up of particles. Okay, so this idea that we met back in year seven, this idea that, um, and that these are very, very small. Okay, that matter is everything from this, this whiteboard to this pen to me is made up of these very small particles. And so, and one thing that, that scientists know is this idea that they are, these particles are always in motion. Okay, and I'm going to, they're always in motion. Um, so that is, um, that, that these particles are always moving no matter where they are, whether they're um, arranged and locked together into a solid, whether they're floating past each other, sliding past in a liquid, whether they're, these particles are zooming away from each other in a gas, um, that they are always moving. And so, but what we know is that, that we can, so particles can speed up, or they can slow down. Okay, and the way that we do that is by energy, so the way that, that, that that happens is this idea of energy transferring. Okay, that we can transfer energy in to the particles to make them speed up. We can transfer it out to slow them down. But we know that uh, what we want to kind of start to get our heads around is this idea that the energy that goes into particles moving is what we call thermal energy. Okay, so this idea that um, when the particles are moving, that energy is being stored in the way that they're moving and how much they're moving and how fast, where they're going, what that movement's like. Are they jiggling on the spot? Are they moving from one place to another? Are they turning over and over? Okay, that that motion, um, the energy that's involved in that motion is what we call thermal energy. Okay, so that comes out of things that we call, you know, hot things. Okay, and so, um, what we then want to say is then, okay, well, what does um, temperature have to do with it? Okay, if we use this word temperature, you know, all right, what's the, what's the temperature going to be today outside? Or, you know, is that, um, what's the temperature of that water in, to, in degrees Celsius? Uh, okay, and so what temperature kind of relates to is um, how much that is also, or how fast um, particles are moving. Um, that is, and I'll put it in brackets, their average speed. Okay? Alright, so when we're thinking about what temperature actually refers to, is it's kind of a way for us to measure or compare or to check, okay, well how fast are those particles going of that substance? Are they, um, are they going really fast? So a high temperature, are they going really slow at a, at a low temperature, okay, or, or somewhere in between, okay? But so the amount of thermal energy that there is in a substance will change its temperature or will affect its temperature, okay? So temperature is something that we can measure um, that, that then tells us about how much energy there is, okay? So then we kind of need to get to this idea of what we mean by heat, okay? So we're thinking about this, this word heat that often gets used, you know, think about right, and it, it's, it's a, a word that often, even as scientists, that sometimes we use in ways that are a little bit confusing or maybe not very clear. And what I want us to, to do, the reason I put the word heat in inverted commas up here is it's often we confuse the word heat for what we now know as thermal energy. When we're using that word, that often that's what people mean it to me, that that's what they, the way that they're using that word. But we can now say, actually, that thermal energy is the word that we want to use, that what we want heat to mean is something different. And we want heat, so that is, it's not a noun, okay, it's not a thing that, um, 
that, that you know we, we put into an object or we take out, but actually it's a verb. That is, it's an action. In other words, it, we're actually saying to heat, you know, to heat something. Okay, and so we actually want to refer to it more in terms of heating. Okay, so heating, and so it's energy transfer. Um, so it's an energy transfer between objects, objects of different temperatures. Okay, so let me, okay, so energy transfer between objects of different temperatures, and it goes from high temperature objects to low temperature objects. Okay, so if I, um, if I put a high, if I put a high temperature um, thing of, uh, you know, like chunk of metal into cold water, eventually the the energy will go from the hot metal into the cold water. Okay, so this one will cool down, and then the water will warm up. Okay, and then in the end they'll kind of meet in the middle. Okay, so we would say that the water is being heated. Okay, it is being heated because energy is transferring from the hot metal to the cold water. So thermal energy is being moved. Okay, so we might even go up here and now put this word thermal energy. So we're not just talking about any type of energy, but specifically thermal energy transferring between objects of different temperatures, from a high temperature one to a low temperature one. Okay, so I really want you to make careful note of these words and their definitions. Make sure that you write them in your book, really write, take care to write them in your own words to try and help you to understand what the difference is and why we would use one word and not the other. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.